it going? So we're doing something a little different. We are still kind of in a time lapse, but not as fast. But I'm not typing in what I'm doing. Just testing the water, seeing how things go. You guys can actually watch what I'm doing. I created a 3D resin bloom that I really liked. I'll insert a photo on the screen right here. So I wanted to experiment and see if 3D blooms would work in tray molds. So I laid my thin layer of resin and I'm just kind of letting it heat up, getting ready to put, you know, my inks in, see how she'll roll. You'll get to see the demold soon, but I'm not really here to explain the 3D blooms. I just, it was shared with me that it's really hard for you guys to watch what I'm doing when you have to read. So this is how I'm gonna be doing my resin pours on a go forward is, which I will explain at the end of the video, how my scheduling is gonna be, the announcements, I'm gonna do voiceovers. I'm gonna learn how to put background music in where it's just lightly there. Right now I'm just kind of getting my pigments to cover the area a bit. But yeah, we're gonna be doing more voiceovers versus no more reading. You don't have to read when you're watching me pour. These two molds here were definitely an experiment. I just wanted to see if you could pour in like do resin blooms in the tray molds. And heat gun, I actually have a proper heat gun now, you guys. Oh, my lantern, let me tell you. The heat gun, what a difference. I also have some new pigments that were sent to me, the little piggy pigments. You'll get to see that video next week. Right now, I am just layering, putting in my white. I need to get piping bags so they're not so shaky. And as you can see, no, this didn't work. Like compared to that photo you guys seen earlier with those beautiful blooms on the cutting board. Unfortunately, I lost the cutting board mold. It was one of those cheap Amazon ones. It didn't work or the, uh, the mold tore. So I don't have it no more. Here, I'm just doing a quick time lapse to see if, you know, they're blooming. They didn't work. I had a little bit of some pigment left over from a different pour you'll see soon so I'm making a set of runes for my fellow spiritual witchy people I have a lot of witchy molds what you're seeing beside that is a male organizer mold you guys there's lots of content coming up the announcement is at the end of the video I just wanted to show you we're going to be doing voiceovers. What did you guys think of this this speed? Do you want me to slow it down even more? Is this fast enough or is it too fast? Let me know down in the comments. Momentarily, we are going to be getting to the demold. Not the runes though. No, you're not going to get to watch me demold the runes. Okay, you guys, let's demold. Here we are, next day, out in the sun. There is our flower power tray. I actually poured this while I was on the phone with my friend Danielle. This one and the cup, the new cupcake one. Do I like it? Do I like it? Yeah. I liked how that turned out. You're going to get to see the etching painted. After I was done demolding, I came down. So here I am trying to pick off that Ed Murphy. Total ADHD. I really liked how it turned out. I wasn't trying to marble. I was just putting some colors together. You'll get to see it with the etching painted in a minute. Let's see how our experiments turned out. All right, here we are with our first experiment. When you are demolding, I, I try to go very slow. If you pull too hard or too fast, you're gonna risk ripping your mold. And I'm looking, I'm looking, oh. No. So this is where I learned this does not work, you guys. This does not work. Tray molds are not meant for blooms. Not at all. All right, so here we are on the diamond tray. I'm hoping it would work because when you look at it from the back, it looked like they bloomed. But they really had nowhere to go, you guys, because it's a tray mold. 
right? So when you're working with, with I've learned with the 3D blooms, they need to be able to spread and grow. They can't do that. They had nowhere to go with this. And you're going to see that in a moment. Ugh. <laughs> so no, that was definitely, those experiments were a flop, but that's the fun with resin. You know, like, not that I can afford to waste resin, but how else do I learn? Now the resin I am using is magic resin. I do like magic resin. It is nice, it pours good, it cures well. Okay, guys, cupcake. Ooh, another cupcake one. You'll find out what happened to the one, I, the first one I did. So I, with this, I had to pretty much demold it before I started, the, you guys seeing it? This is the piece of the day. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that, you guys. I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> So I used the piggy pigments with a heavier chunky glitter to get that glitter border. Use the flowers for the backing. I do like how it turned out. I am happy with this piece. Very pleased. If you would like your own cupcake dish shelf, let me know. Reach out to me on Facebook. Okay, you guys, let's get some final thoughts. Hey, you guys. So here we are, I'm gonna give you final thoughts on the pieces, they've been poured, demolded. So these two here were an experiment. Unfortunately, you didn't really get to see the cutting board debacle because I was so pissed off, footage got deleted, but I was experimenting with these because that. I have been playing around with learning how to do 3D resin blooms. As you can see, like, so what got me upset was I lost the mold. This, like, this was, a, it's a very thick, like, the cutting board was very thick, and it was a cheap mold. It was, the resin was too thick, and the mold, basically, it was just a small section of it tore. The mold tore. So... I was so upset because this was the mold that I've been learning how to do these blooms on. I'm like, this was the first one, like up here, it didn't really take, but I'm learning you guys. Oh, I'm learning you guys. You know, we all got to start somewhere, but a lot, everyone just loves how this looks, even though there's still stuff like this shouldn't be like this, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm like, well, I wonder if doing this would work in the tray mold. And that's why we experimented with these two here. And the lesson is no, no. When, you, when you're doing your 3D blooms, you need like to have, not have the indents, the white, if they didn't bloom, like not at all. So like that did not turn out, but that's the whole thing with resin is you're learning, right? You're experimenting, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, so on and so forth. The same with this one. And I think what it was is the blooms had nowhere to go. Like when you look inside, like the blooms had nowhere to go. Like I may continue playing with this one. Like this one I think may have potential, but I I need things. I need the piping bags. I need, you know, I really want to get the coaster mold. Like I learned how to do this from pouring your heart out. I'll link her channel down below. And she has an eBay shop where she sells her molds that she does this in. Those are what I need. So anyway. Day by day, we'll get there. That's why in a few minutes, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna have some announcements. But yeah, so this is potential, this is a no. You need to have your depth in order to do the blooms. So our little mushroom hippie tray. I came downstairs and I decided to paint the etching in like a green because of the pigments used. And I think it looks cute. It still has to finish curing. Just because resin is hardened, it does not mean that it is fully cured. You know, like I could not sell this right now. It, it needs some time to finish curing. So I have the curing shelf. So I'm happy with this. The pigments that were used, if you guys have not seen that video yet, are this little piggy. Uh, Fluid Art Company had sent me like I've got, yeah, like I got, I got like 10 of them in there. Okay, you guys, these pigments are game changer. That video will be next week. You're going to get to see the unboxing, more detail about them. I will link the web, but 
game changer. So the one that I used for the runes was Nightfall. So we'll talk about our runes here. They're still kind of curing, so I have them just kind of sitting on this here. I forgot to film the Dean Wolf, you guys. I'm sorry. You're going to understand in a couple minutes when I do the announcements. But I did this last night, and I wanted to paint the etching. So this, the pigment I used was this little piggy, Nightfall. And then I added in some opal chunky glitter to get that sparkle effect. When I posted the photos, people were thinking that it was blue, or, and I'm like, oh, Atlanta. So as you, like some of them are, yeah. So you can see I used a silver paint for the etching. I'm happy with how the, the runes turned out. This is my second set of runes. The first set of runes that I did, I used Athena, little pig, piggy pigment. And I'll just insert a photo of those ones on the screen so you can see them. And I, I have 10 different shades, like 10 different pigments. I'm going to make 10 different sets of runes. Okay, lastly, our cupcake shelf. Cupcake shelf, cupcake dish. This, to me, this is my happy piece today. So I did the border in, I, I think, again, I used Nightfall. Oh, that's Shake a Tail Feather. Where my Nightfall go? Did I not just have Nightfall, you guys? Like, there it is. Murphy. So I used this pigment. And then I used a different type of glitter. And this is a heavy... I knew that this glitter was going to sink to the bottom. That was what I wanted. I wanted to give the border of glitter, but you still have that layer of the pigment there. You can see, and then we have on the back, we have our flowers. Now, some of you who watched my live last week are probably going, well, where's the other one that you did? It's right here. Now, unfortunately, my cats, after I was done pouring, got up and got jumped up on my table, hence why I'm now pouring here. We'll, we'll be chatting soon. But here is the one I poured in my live last Wednesday. Now, when they knocked they got into it, it kind of wrecked the bottom of it here. But you still get the point of it. I still have to do my, well, that's the thing sticking out. There's where I use the fairy lights. You got your sprinkles. I use some of the glitter that came with the biscuits kit. Now, as you can see, that happened. And they, like I said, they jumped up and something got inside while it was curing and things just got messed up. So I was a little upset, but c'est la vie, life happens. That's why we're now here. So these are the two cupcake ones I have. Now, this kit is still available at Sophie and Toffee. If you are interested in wanting to get your own, I do have a affiliate code. It's This is where I can actually buy items from their website. So if you use this code, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. There's a link down below. It helps me to get more resin products so I can continue doing this. Now, this is where I'm going to end this part of the video and we're going to have no more than a five minute chat. We're going to talk some announcement like, well, I'm not announcements. It's just what's happening. The change that is happening. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next clip. We're going to sit down face to face and we're going to have a topic. Hey, guys. So here we are. A lot of you have been reaching out to me and asking me what's going on with you, what's going on with your channel, so on and so forth. Well, this is where I am going to just kind of briefly explain what's happening, the way it's going to be going forward. And I'm not going to justify myself. I don't feel I should have to explain myself. I'm not going to get into details. Starting Next week, I will be uploading Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. They will be strict. I am strictly a resin channel. I am no longer going to be doing anything whatsoever related to diamond painting. To me, that is not being true to myself. That is, I feel, not fair to brands. That's not fair to you guys. 
I have not diamond painted in almost, like, I've been trying in almost a year. I have my reasons. And I don't want to be coming on camera being a fraud. Sorry, guys. You know, like, sorry, not sorry. I am a resin artist. I have been working with resin for two and a half years. It is a form of art. You know, you can't just go out and buy product A, product B, mix them together, put some glitters, pigments, put them in a mold. Once they're hardened, you're a resin artist. Mm. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people popping up pouring resin, which is great. I mean, the more the merrier. Like the resin community is phenomenal. You know, it's all about the craft, the art form, you know, learning, teaching. Like, I mean, as you guys seen the resin blooms and there's so many other techniques that I want to do. And that's what my channel is going to be. Different resin pouring techniques. Like, I'm not going to give away what I'm going to be doing. You're not going to be seeing unboxings and... I'm so overdoing unboxings, you guys. Like, I'm unboxed out. <laughs> so Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays by 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, you will be seeing a video. Different pouring. And within that video, you're going to see the pour like you guys did in today's video. I'm going to film in real time. I'll speed it up a little bit. And then I'll do a voiceover. I want to put out quality content, not quantity. Where you're right, where I'm rushing just to get something out, or you know, one of my one of my one of my subscribers had said, you know, like you're you're putting like it's great that you're doing time lapses, but we have to read what you're writing on there. How can we watch? Point taken. But I also don't want to put out forty minute videos rambling, you know, like when I'm watching resin videos and the person's blah, 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 it's like hey, just pour. Just pour already. Like, so I'm trying to get what works for me. And you're probably like, well, live streams. No. I won't be doing live streams no more, you guys. I've never, I enjoy, I love talking to you guys. I enjoy interacting with you guys. Now, every once in a while, like on Monday, when I did the live, the impromptu live there for the cupcake thing, every once in a while, you, yeah, you, you might get that. Um, I might do a premiere. You know, once in a blue moon where I can interact with you guys. But other than that, no, I'm not, no. This is where I'm headed. This is where I'm going. I'm evolving. I'm changing. And for me to create content about a craft that I'm not even doing, that's what's been holding up my channel. That's where I've been sitting. That's where I'm at right now. So I'm not, so, okay. I also have ADHD, you guys. So I'm like, we do that. We just kind of go off and like, am I forgetting anything? Da, da, da. This is where we're at. Patreons. If you are a Patreon, you, yes, I will be doing live streams for Patreons. That's my comfort level. At the end of July, there will be no more YouTube community members. Gone. Right now, I've been working on Patreon Purple Door Crafts 2.0. There will be five different tiers. The top tiers will be getting the merch program that is done through Patreon, where I design the, the pieces after you've been a Patreon for so long. Patreon sends you the merch. Quite a few of you have already gotten it. I'm actually due right now to design the next year's worth. Good time to change Patreon. Now some of you are probably going, well, why are you willing to do a live stream for Patreons, but not public? Because that's my comfort level. When you're live, you don't know who's watching, who's listening. And when you're with Patreons, you know who's there. Well, Sherry, they could just share your link. But not if you're doing your live in a group that is meant for your patreons a place that is not on youtube your link can't be shared you know a year from now could change again who knows like i'll always be resin like this is what it's going to be going forward five years from now resin there's so many different things with resin and it's like it's going to be resin fluid i'm going to be doing fluid art eventually 
And they're like, what's fluid art? Mm. <laughs> diamond painting, I don't regret. I mean, I'm like diamond painting is going to be something for me now. Like that I'm just going to do for myself. It's what, you know, this was one of the best decisions I ever made. I have met life people that like, I have lifelong friendships, you know, it got me into my zone where now I can do resin and share another art form. Purple Door Crafts website is being built as we speak. Products that I'm making will be for sale soon. Not everything. I am picky, like I was saying earlier. You know, I'm actually, I'm going to say that conversation another day. If you are a new resin artist, learn your craft before you start selling your products. Because I'm seeing some products that people are putting up for sale and I'm like, there's internal bubbles. You have internal bubbles. You got to worry about moisture. You got edging, like your edge, the edges of your piece has bubble pops. Like people are just pouring resin and selling stuff. And it's, it's a craft. It's an art. Learn it. You know, like what temperature are you pouring into your molds? Are you pouring as like, like, like you know, and that's what I'm going to do with you guys. I'm going to take what I've learned over the last two and a half years and I'm going to break it down and go from there. But this is going to be long, you guys. So I'm going to end this. So yes, this is where we're going. Starting on Monday, Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the pours, the demolds. It's experimenting. It's fun. If you do see a mold that I have that you want to have a custom piece, please reach out to me on my Facebook page, my Facebook business page down below. You can do a custom order until through there until I have the website. Anything that I've poured that you like and you want, reach out to me on my Facebook page until I have the website. Okay, you guys, until Monday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, have a great weekend. I am looking forward to this new journey and I hope you are too. Stay blessed. Bye guys. That's all, folks.